The coalition has been diligent in its stewardship. It has set about to solve the country's most pressing problems and to lay the foundation for stabilizing the economy. Our coalition government has started to reverse the economic decline. Real GDP growth has been sustained and inflation moderated. Fiscal and monetary prudence is being practiced. The economy is being rebalanced. The traditional sectors are being restructured and preparations are being made for catalyzing new and emerging sectors. The six sisters, bauxite, fish, gold, rice, sugar, and diamonds, which have been the victims of shocks in external markets, are being examined with a view to moving production up the value chain, preserving workers' jobs, and searching for new markets. The sugar industry is being restructured to return it to viability and to reduce its financial dependency on the state. The groundwork is being laid for the introduction of the new petroleum sector, the expansion of non-traditional agriculture, the extension of information and communications technology, and the development of renewable energy sectors. Investment is being increased to create jobs and to spur continued economic expansion. The Guyana Office for Investment has processed 477 investment proposals valued at $344.3 billion since May 2015. Regional agriculture and commercial exhibitions and microfinancing initiatives are stimulating enterprises and village economies and generating self-employment. Delegates, Congress must explore the viability of establishing networks of microfinancing agencies in each region to assist women and youth living there to embark on private enterprises. Our, Our coalition government has worked to improve the living standards of the average worker. The minimum wage of public servants, including teachers, increased by over 50% um, from $39,540 to $60,000. The Ministry of Social Protection has increased monthly old age pension by 48.6% from $13,125 to $19,500. And public assistance has increased by 35% from $5,900 to $8,000. Delegates, in short, the disposable income of workers has been boosted. And it has been increased also by the increase in the income tax threshold and by the reduction of the income tax rate. We care about the poor. We care about workers. Corporations have benefited from the reduction of the corporate tax rate for manufacturing and non-commercial companies from 30% to 27.5%. The value-added tax was reduced to 14%, and the value-added tax threshold increased from $10 million to $15 million. The economy is being strengthened. The enactment of anti-money laundering and countering the financing of terrorism legislation is cleansing the economy of contamination by the proceeds of illicit transactions.